Blood the Last Vampire is kind of a strange movie. It's based on an anime that I remember watching when it came out, and the anime was filled with really gorgeous visuals, a really amazing hybrid between hand-drawn and computer-generated animation, uh, but the story was kind of incomprehensible. The movie of Blood the Last Vampire is actually exactly like that, so in a way it's a really faithful translation of the anime series. The movie looks really shiny and glossy, lots of special effects, lots of crazy action sequences and wire work, lots of CGI, uh, yet the story is so ridiculous and, and not even there that you really can't put anything together. There's some creatures, and there's a girl who is like, apparently a vampire, but she's fighting off all these other creatures, and there's some really bad acting and some really bad dubbing, and by the time it's all over, you're pretty much just left scratching your head, partially because you don't know what happened and partially because you're asking yourself, did I really just sit through that? And while it is pretty much a wreck, it's not an un unentertaining wreck. It's kind of a kind of a car wreck, really. You can't quite look away from it as you're watching it, even though your brain recognizes that it's terrible. So if you're really into anime, this might be a movie you want to check out. But for the most part, I think most people looking for a good vampire story or even just a good action sci-fi horror film are probably going to be let down. On Blu-ray, Blood the Last Vampire does its job well. The transfer is spectacular, the visuals are really clear, the special effects shine through, although the high-definition nature of it does really kind of highlight what's fake and what's not. Uh, color saturation is good, and, and again, the movie takes place a lot at night, so uh, you do get to see things well thanks to some really solid shadow delineation. Surround sound? very good. It does a really great job of getting all the action sequences. There's a lot of punch, a lot of oomph, a lot of low-end bass, uh, and your surround speakers will get a workout. In terms of extra features, there's not a whole lot going on here. You do get a solid making of featurette. There's a behind the stunts featurette called Battling Demons, and then exclusive to the Blu-ray is a storyboard gallery. I've never been a really big fan of storyboards as an extra feature, but I guess if you like that kind of thing, then this will fit you well. At 88 minutes long, Blood the Last Vampire doesn't push the limits of your patience because it goes on too long. It just pushes the limits of your patience because it's kind of a bad movie. That being said, if you're easily satisfied and you're just looking for kind of a bloody, gory way to kill off an hour and a half, you could probably do worse than this one.